Wavy text is a style that's always trending in graphic design and print on demand. Today we'll look at how to create this effect in Canva. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent and in this video we'll look at how to create wavy and distorted text in Canva. There's a simple way to bend text that we'll look at first and then I'll show you the more powerful method. So let's look at the simple method first. After all, if you just want some curved text, there's no reason to overcomplicate things. Let's add some text to this document. I'll resize it and I'll change the fonts and let's give it a nicer color. Now, if all you wanna do is simply curve your text, you can select your text here and then you can select effects over here. Now, if we scroll down, we have an option to curve our text. So I'll click on that and I'll scroll down some more. And I have this slider here. So if I bend it further in the positive direction, you can see it's bending down. And then if I go below zero, it bends it upwards. Let me move this down so you can see it. So as I go negative, it bends the text upwards there. Now you can get pretty creative with just that control. For example, let me separate my text into different words here. I'll just hold Alt and drag to copy it three times. And I'll separate the words into their own objects. So now I have three different text objects here. So I could bend this one up if I wanted to. So I'll click Effects, go back to my curve, and I'll bend it up like that. Maybe I want this middle one to be yellow. I'll change the color here. Maybe I want it to just be slightly bent. So I can do this. Maybe I'll change the size, position it there. And then maybe this wave text, I want it to be bent downwards. So I'll click effects for that. And I'll drag up on the slider here. Maybe I'll change the color. Using the elements, I can put in some graphics here. Let's search for waves. I like this one here. I'll copy it, rotate it. So just by using that basic control, we're able to get some nice dynamics to our text. Now let's look at a more powerful method for distorting our text. And that's to use a Canva app called Typecraft. Now to use apps, what you can do is click this apps button over here. So I'll click that. And you can browse through the different apps here. But I know the one I want is Typecraft. So I'll search for that here. Typecraft. Then I'll hit enter. So here we have the app and I'll click on it. And then I'll click open. And here we have the app. Now when you install an app like that, you'll see it down on your left toolbar over here. So if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see Typecraft. You can also click on apps again. And then under your apps, you'll see it installed here. So I'll click on it again. So the way this app works is that we type the text we want over here where it says text. So I'll type a word, catch. Here we have a list of fonts. I'll choose one that looks kind of cool. I like this jolly one, two, three, one. Now down at the bottom, we have the editing window. And I recommend first clicking reset shape so it resets to the text you typed in. Right now it's set to the default shapes, which isn't really that great. So let me click reset shape. And you can see now it looks more reasonable. So there's three main ways we can format this text. We can have it just solid text like we have right now. I can also make it outline. So I'll click unfilled over here. So you can see we have the border color. So I could make it outlined, say red if I wanted to. And now it looks like that. Or I could do the outline option, which is both of them. So this is outlined and filled. But let's do none. Let's just go to our basic solid text here. Let's change the color to something more nice. So now we can use these control points to distort our shape. And there are 10 points here. Now six of the points are for actually changing the bounding box of our shape. So we have our corners. So we have the left corners here. We have the right corners. And then we also have the middle points. Now next to the middle points, we have these control handles. So these determine how much it's curving into and out of the middle points. So I can bend it up and down like that. I can bend it down like this and like so. Now for these middle points, usually if you want a smooth transition, you want these three points to form a straight line. So I'll do something like this. And we get a smooth curve there. That might not necessarily be what you want, but if you do want a smooth curve, you want to have these three lines aligned like that. If we give them a really sharp angle, we get a really sharp bend there. Let me reset the shape. And let's just kind of make our text tall like that. Now I actually put my text on my document. What I do is I click add element to design down here. So I'll click this. And now my object is on my canvas here. I can resize it, move it around. So if I click off it, if I want to go back and edit it again, I click on the shape. And now I can go back here and change it. Now the canvas doesn't update in real time. So if I change things here, you'll notice it doesn't update on my canvas. I have to click update element. And now it's updated there on my screen. As you update the design here, I think it's a good practice to occasionally click update element. That way you can see what it looks like on your canvas. So if I click off my word, I can go and do other things with Canva. I can add elements. I can add normal text. And once again, if I wanna go back and edit my change text here, I double click on it and I can edit it here. Let's look at an example of using this app for an actual design. So since I installed it, I'll go to apps and I'll click Typecraft. Now I want my design to say catch the wave. And I think in this case, it's going to be better to do each word individually. So let's start with catch. 
I'll do my jolly font. Let's make the color some type of blue. And again, I want to click reset shape here. So I'll add the element to the design. Now a quick way to create the other words is I can just click on my word here. I'll hold alt and I'll click and drag and I'll double click on this. Let's call this the. Now if you scroll down, again, you'll see the shape is distorted because it has the format of the catch box. Let me reset the shape. So now the proportions are better. I can change the color too. I'll update the element. I'll resize it. And let's do the same thing with wave. So hold alt, click and drag. Let's change this to wave. I'll reset the shape, update the element. And there we go. Let's put this there. I think I want catch to be orange. Let's change that. So I'll update the element. So there we go. So let's make this word a little bit wavy. So I'll drag this down here. Maybe give it some waves. Maybe I'll drag this part up a little bit. Let's update the element. Now we can see it's wavier here. Let's go to the word wave now. I'll put this here. Let's double click on it. Now for this one, I'll drag this part down. And this is one of those things where you just have to keep experimenting and see what works. So let's click update element. So we should be down a little bit more over here. Let me drag this down. Update element. I'll move this in here. Maybe this other part can be higher. Maybe I'll bend it a little more down at the bottom. Just update it. Drag it down a little. Make it a little wider. Let's see if we can touch up this top part a little bit. Maybe the C doesn't have to be quite raised so much. Update element. Let me drag this over. Let's just size this word here. We can add some extra graphics to our design. I like these birds here. Let's add them in. We can make them gray. Black is a little too strong for this color scheme. How about a sun? I like that one there. And we can add some waves. So there you go. We're able to create wavy text using the Typecraft app. Be sure to check out my Canva playlist for more Canva tutorials. And if you have any topics you'd like to see covered, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.